like a big male. You can see a more bulbous head. They generally got much bigger heads than the females. And of course that's because they got to fight for all the females. And of course the time of plenty for them is soon upon us. Now, I have been bamboozled by that lion I saw earlier. I was convinced she'd be sleeping somewhere close by here. Now, Tristan was chatting uh, and saying I should discuss lion territory in the morrow. I think Tristan should discuss lion territory in the morrow. No, I'm only joking, of course. Um, so, I, first I want to find the lion. That's, that's first and foremost. And I saw her walking along the edge of the tree line here. And we're in this beautiful forest um, of quinine trees and uh, diospirus that's all along the edge of the Mara River here. And I was convinced I'd find her sleeping right here. I wonder if she's just not... And she, I thought she might be lying in ambush for a big herd of zebra that are moving past. But I think they spotted her. So the only other thing is she could have kept moving. Now, lion territories and lion dynamics here, we don't fully understand yet. And uh, it's going to be a while before we do, I think. And uh, I think they have seasonal ranges and, and ranges depending on what food's available, like any other lion, like the Nkumas move to the north uh, when uh, it's the wet season. They follow the zebra. Uh, the lions will have a set territory here, but I think it's a, a lot less rigid than than it is in, su in, su in southern Africa. I just can't figure out where she's gone. Just, just gone. I mean, we saw her. Okay, it did take us about half an hour to get to the other side of the marsh, but I was convinced I was going to find her. I'm going to go see. Maybe she ducked behind us and uh, see if we can find her there. If we have no luck, well, then she's completely bamboozled me. I'm going to go look for some tracks on the ground. But it sounds like Byron's still behaving like a gorilla in the mist.